Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to talk about collagen in your topical skincare products because it seems like everyone or every brand is coming out with a collagen cream, a collagen lotion, a collagen serum that you can put on your face and the claim is that by putting collagen on the outside of your skin that it could somehow get into your skin and help you develop new collagen. And we all know that collagen is the name of the game when it comes to anti-aging skincare. Collagen is the substance in our skin that helps it to look young, that keeps it plump and fresh and youthful and keeps those wrinkles away. It keeps it nice and springy. As we get older, probably from around the time we turn 30, our collagen production in our own skin starts declining by about 1% a year. So by the time you get to be over 50, you're down about 20, and in my case, like 28 to 30% of your collagen. That's just from intrinsic aging. Then you add in a lifetime of sun damage, and your collagen has probably been damaged and degraded to a degree that you're probably way above 30% in collagen loss by the time you're in your late 50s. So everyone wants to keep their collagen intact. They want their skin to produce more collagen. And wouldn't it be great if we could just get a cream that has collagen in it, put it on our skin, the collagen would sink into where it needs to be and it would supplement our own collagen. That makes a great marketing story but sadly, it's not that easy and it doesn't work that way. So you guys know that a lot of the reason that different ingredients and different molecules will actually penetrate your skin is because of the size of the molecule. There's this thing called the 500 Dalton rule and that says that anything that's below 500 Daltons can actually get through your skin and into your skin where it needs to work and everything over 500 Daltons just will not penetrate. And so collagen is a big big molecule and it's just way too big to get into your skin. So some creams will just have collagen on the label. And if that's the case, then that is definitely not going to work because collagen is just way too big of a molecule to penetrate your skin. It's just going to sit on the surface. Now the good thing about collagen as an ingredient is that it is a humectant, much like hyaluronic acid or glycerin. It's a water binding molecule and it'll draw moisture to it. And so if it sits on the surface of your skin, it will add some hydration to your skin. It'll help to make it look plumper, but it's really just a temporary effect. Now there are other collagen creams that instead of having collagen on the ingredient list they'll have a bunch of peptides. So basically what they'll do or what they're saying is that they've chopped up the collagen molecules into their individual peptides because that's kind of what collagen is made of uh, is a lot of different amino acids and peptides. They can be small enough to get into your skin but at this point they're not collagen and the theory is that they'll get into your skin and your skin will know somehow to turn them into collagen. Well, sadly, there's very little evidence that it can increase your collagen. If you like it as a moisturizer or you like it as an ingredient, then that's fine. Or if you've used one and you really like it, then that's great. But just so you know, it's not going to penetrate your skin. And if it is chopped up into smaller bits, it might penetrate your skin, but it's not going to magically form into poof collagen inside your skin. So does that mean that there's nothing that you can put on your face to help to increase your collagen production? Absolutely not. There is a proven ingredient that you can put on topically that will help your skin to produce more collagen and that ingredient is called tretinoin. This is a retinoid, it's in the family of retinols, but it's by prescription only here in the United States. So it's harder to come by, but it's not that hard to get. And it is the one thing that's been proven with years and years and years of research to help your skin to actually generate more collagen. And the thing with tretinoin is that it can be super irritating, so you want to ease in with it when you're starting to use it, but you want to use it for the long haul because in order to get your skin producing more collagen, it takes time. It takes more than a week. Any cream that tells you that it can do wonders for your skin or produce collagen in a week, 
they are not telling you the truth. And any marketing that tells you that the collagen is just going to seep into your skin and make more collagen, also not telling you the truth. Now, a great way to get tretinoin into your skincare routine is with Curology. Um, I'm a Curology ambassador, so this portion of the video is going to be sponsored by Curology. And this is how I get my prescription tretinoin and it is how I have been getting my prescription tretinoin for almost three years now. What I love about Curology is that it's so easy to get it. You just fill out a little skincare quiz online, you upload some pictures, they prescribe it to you, and then they ship it right to your house. And that cuts out so many steps of getting tretinoin the normal way, which is that you would go to your doctor's office and then they would have to agree that you need tretinoin, then they would have to write your prescription, which you take to your pharmacy, then they fill it, then you generally fight with your insurance company over whether they're gonna pay for it or not. So this is $24.95 a month, but your first month is free. It's for you to try it, so if you wanna give it a try, there is a link in the info box below the video. You can try it, no strings attached. They send you the one month out. Then it does put you on the recurring payment, but you can cancel before that. But what's great about this is it gives you almost a personalized skincare provider that is going to do your prescribing so they can start you on a lower level so that it's not irritating and then you can bump up over time. And the other nice thing about this is that it's a custom bottle of skincare just for you. So let's say your wrinkles aren't your only problem. Let's say you also have some redness in your face that you want to get rid of or you have some age spots that you want to fade. Um, they can customize your formula with three different active ingredients that will help you. Or even if you have acne, I mean, some older people, more mature people do. There's terrible hormonal acne that goes along with menopause. They can help you with your acne. They can help you with your wrinkles, your dark spots. There are lots of different ingredients that they can put in and it will be customized just for you and your skin and your skincare concerns, which is not usually what you get when you go to the doctor because you know they don't really have that much time for you. So anyway, this is an awesome product. I love it. Tretinoin is definitely going to be the best thing that you can do as far as creating more collagen in your skin. And the longer you're on it, the better because it does take at least a year to really start seeing the differences. I've been on Curology for three years. I've been on Tretinoin for eight years now and I, can't believe the differences in my skin from eight years ago to now. Let me just bring in a side by side. And it shows you that your skin can produce more collagen, but it's not gonna produce it by putting on a cream that has collagen in it. It's gonna produce it by using tretinoin. Now, if you don't wanna use prescription tretinoin or you can't use prescription tretinoin because it's just too irritating, then the next best thing is going to be a retinaldehyde serum. This is the one that I've been using for a long, long time. This is the Aven Retrinol 0.1. There are a couple of other products that I like as much as this. There is the MyShell Renewal Serum, I think it's called. Sorry, I don't have it down here, it's upstairs. But I'll link it in the info box for you below. And there's also the Maylove Moonlight Serum. That one's been out of stock for a while. I think it's coming back in April. Retinaldehyde is another retinoid, and so it's not as strong as tretinoin, but it can get into your skin and hit those retinoid receptors and make the changes in order to have your skin produce more collagen. It'll work much more slowly. It won't be nearly as effective as something like this, but it is over the counter so you can give that a try. Another way to get your skin to produce more collagen and also to protect the collagen that you have is to use a vitamin C serum. Not just any vitamin C serum, it's gotta be an l ascorbic acid based vitamin C serum. That is the one that's proven, you know, the thing with me and skincare is I don't want to just grab something off the shelf and slap it on my skin if it hasn't been proven effective with clinical trials and like decent ones. Very few ingredients have been proven to help you produce more collagen in your skin. And so tretinoin is one, l ascorbic acid vitamin C is another one. Now the serum I always talk about is the Timeless. This is a 20% l ascorbic acid based serum. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and it fights free radicals in your skin. So free radicals are these destructive molecules that are generated from sun exposure and pollution and stress. So you can't get away from them. Your body is always producing free radicals and they damage your DNA, they damage your collagen, they break it down, and so you can reduce a lot of that by using an antioxidant. So that can help to protect your collagen. So L-ascorbic acid
acid gives you like the double whammy of collagen production increase as well as collagen protection. So this is one of the best things that you can do for your collagen. I recommend this for people of any age. I feel like tretinoin, you don't really need to start until you're like 30. So anyway, this one is my favorite. It's a really lightweight, watery serum. It absorbs right in. I use this in the morning. I use my tretinoin at night. A couple other vitamin C serums that I like that are also L-ascorbic acid based that are formulated at the right pH because that's important for getting it into your skin. I mean, it's so hard to formulate, but that's why there's only three or four that I recommend. And all the rest of them that are on the shelves, they're not gonna do anything in your skin. So the big daddy of them all is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. This is the one that all the research was done on for l acid to prove that it works in your skin, to prove that it protects your collagen, that it helps to build more collagen. So this one is great, but it's super expensive. You can get other formulations like the Timeless that are almost the exact same thing, but at a fraction of the cost. I mean, some people just love this and swear by it and only want to use this one. So I'll link it in the info box below the video for you if this is the one that you want to use. I don't have a problem with it. It is great stuff. And like I said, they're the ones that they got a patent on it, actually, and so they're the ones that did all the research. Then another really good one is Maylove the Glow Maker. This is a 15% L-ascorbic acid, and it's formulated at the correct pH. So then when we're talking about protecting our collagen, the other most important way to protect your collagen is with sunscreen. So wearing your sunscreen every day is going to be so important to collagen breakdown because as we've already learned through the vitamin C part, the sun's rays really cause those free radicals and cause a lot of the breakdown of the collagen in your skin. So you want to preserve the collagen that you do have while protecting the collagen factory. And the best way to do that is with sunscreen. So these are two of my favorites. These are all mineral sunscreens. They're both tinted. So if you're not a big makeup person, you can put these on and they can just even out your skin tone and you know give you a smoother more even look if you have normal to dry skin i would recommend this one this is elta md uv elements spf 44. this is a hydrating formula it also does include a couple of antioxidants and it's just a really beautiful sunscreen i wear it every day under my makeup and it just works so perfectly under makeup and it looks great on its own too and then for people with more oily skin you could use this australian gold botanical tinted SPF 50 BB cream and this is awesome but it can be a little bit more drying on the skin but it gives more of a matte finish this one also has a few different shades to choose from so you're gonna be able to get a better color match in this than in this that only comes in one shade this comes in like a light a medium and a tan and it has more of a matte finish so if you have enlarged pores it will like disguise your pores a little bit and it's a great sunscreen so if you're walking down the aisles in Target or Ulta and you're looking at skincare and all the labels shouting about collagen are enticing to you I would save your money on those. I would definitely invest your money in some things that can actually help your collagen, that can actually help your skin to produce more collagen, that can actually protect the collagen that you have. And those are really the simple things, the things that have been proven with years and years of research. And none of them say collagen on them, but yet they are the best things for your collagen, for helping your body to create more collagen on its own, and for helping your body to protect the collagen that you do have. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.